AD, fantastic result today to beat Cambridge 3-2. Your thoughts? Uh, like you said, it was fantastic. Yeah, great result. Um, obviously, we start the game really well, which is nice, um, better than the Barnet game. Um, but then we conceded two goals, which is obviously frustrating. But um, I thought the lads um, showed a lot of character, um, especially you know, you know going 2-1 down um, to win the game 3-2 against a very, very good Cambridge side. Um, it's all credit to the boys. Sam Russell's penalty save was pivotal because then they score, it's 3-1, it's almost yeah. game over yeah, definitely, in the yeah. first half. What yeah. was your views on the uh, penalty? Um, I wondered what the hell he was doing, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> be, and uh, obviously I was, um, I nearly, uh, yeah, so when, when he saved it, he, um, he saved himself time basically. Um, if I'm able to say that, am I? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but no, he, he done really. You know, fantastic. You know, Sam has been fantastic yeah. since I've been here. It's just a rash challenge he had, um, but um, he made up for it with a save. Um, so um, nah, that was that would have changed the game. You know, three one down, that would have been tough. But you know, we scored two goals, it would have been a draw. You tweet central midfield today. Um, I yeah. thought Anthony Barry was particularly outstanding, and you slotted Green Greeny in there as well. Yeah, and that's something not I will do. I've got to tinker it. I've got to tinker, you know, with the effort they put in. Um, I thought Anthony Barry was um, dictating play. His passing and movement was fantastic. And with Greeny coming in, that Greeny hasn't played as many games, obviously, but um, his energy and his loose balls, and um, he picked up a lot of second balls. Um, I thought both of them done really well. But then again, Marcus Kelly and, and James Norwood, you know, we are more solid. You know, I was working on this. You know, we've been working on it this week. Um, a lot of shape, just getting our shape back. So I think we've been a little bit loose in midfield. Um, but then again, you know, with, with Yan and, and, and Al Bangura coming on, you know, they didn't didn't mess up the shape at all. So, um, but everyone everyone played their part. It's a great team performance today. Nice to see Aaron Racine uh, back, and nice to see him get 90 minutes. Yeah, no, I've always said Aaron is um, you know, very very good footballer, very good centre half. Um, just um, obviously he's got to look after himself, and, and hopefully he'll, he'll go and run now where he can play consistently well until the end of the season. Just playing, he just needs to play games. Because um, he had his um, not a stop start sort of so, yeah, career, but um, I was very pleased with him. Um, again, you know, I didn't want to just pick out other players. You know, obviously Jamie Turley going right back is solid. Um, you know, didn't let us down. And there was obviously um, Eddie Shoddy and and, and and Yared. You know, and who would have thought Yared would have scored out the far post of a header? Um, you know, fantastic. Yeah, I think uh, we we spoke to Yared earlier, and he's absolutely. Delighted to get that goal. Yeah, uh, he well, looks comfortable on the left side. Yeah, well, I think right? he's a very good footballer as well. I, I think he, um, I think you can play him anywhere. Um, and it was a case of, um, you know, like I, 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 again, I don't think our our, our fullbacks have been going forward as much as I want them to. Um, you know, especially with um, you've got Anthony Barry, you've got Al Bangor, you've got Greeny, um, Jan Kuklowski who can switch play um, comfortably. But you know, I want me, I want me forwards going forward, and you know, see um, Yari at the far post there, and a great hitter to be fair. Best result in your tenure so far for you? Um, oh, definitely, only because it, obviously because it was Cambridge, but um, you know, there's it's a long, you know, we've got some big games now, um, and obviously I'll be more, I'll be. Even more ecstatic, we get three points on Tuesday, which will be a tough game. Yeah, they're thick and fast now. You, I mean, you you like to be playing games, don't you? So. Yeah, I do. Yeah, well, we, we've you know we've um, obviously we, that's the schedule. You know, I'm, there's no point moaning and groaning about this that, and the other. We've got to play loads of games coming up, so we just got to get on with it. And you know, when you're winning, it always helps. You know, you want to you're looking forward to the next game. Um, like I say, you know, we've got um, you know Braintree on a Thursday as well, which you know they're they're, they're doing exceptionally well. Tamworth away, obviously, um, will be a tough game. So, but that's the way it is, and we've got a we've got a squad where I'll have to rotate um, players around, and um, you know, even at the end there with with, with Luke um, coming on at the end, you know, he just showed you, you know, his energy and everything that he's got. So, you know, just a very 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 pleasing day for for everybody concerned. And I know you, you're not a man to look at the league tables. You're, no. you're still going to go that way and just let the games look after themselves. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Because I think that takes care of itself. Um, you know, because I think you put too much pressure on on yourself, on your on the players. You, know, you say, oh, well, you know, win this today, you're going to go here, and you win this day, you're going to go there. So just take every game as it comes. We've got to look after the boys, obviously, because it's a big week. Um, also, obviously, um, I've got one eye on for next year as well. So, um, so it's all it's all. Um, it's all hectic at the moment, but it's nice when you win. Smashing. Thanks, Aidy. Brilliant. Thank you.